Welcome to a new vlog. In this video we're going to talk about oscilloscope differential probes and what I have here is the Mixig DP10013 and this is a 100 MHz differential probe that will probably help me not blow up my oscilloscope when probing for high voltage stuff like inside a switch mode power supply for example. But first, a full disclosure, this unit was provided for free by banggood.com for the purpose of this review and if you decide to get one after watching the video, check out the link I've placed in the description below. There will also be a discount coupon that you can use to get the Mixig for a better price. So as usual with the Mixig instruments, they do come in these uh, nice uh, plastic carry cases. I mean, they are not super high quality, but certainly decent and certainly nice to have such a, a carry case for protection during shipping and for storage purposes. Now let's talk about specs. But before I do that, I have to stop and kindly ask you to smash that like button because it only takes you a second to do and it really helps to send some feedback my way. So if you've done it, I can continue. This particular model is 100 MHz bandwidth, although by the way it's constructed, it's unlikely you're ever going to be able to probe 100 MHz signals using these long test leads. But I guess you can argue that when probing switch mode power supplies, in most cases, you never get near that high frequencies. We got 50x and 500x attenuation on this particular model. So you get two thresholds up to 130 volts and up to 1300 volt signals based on those two attenuation levels so depending on the signal range that you plan to measure this may or may not be the best choice for, for you there's also the uh, dp1007 and uh, that particular model has the more standard 10x and 100x attenuation and the maximum input common mode voltage should be limited to 1000 volts for this model but that's plenty for me and uh, the input impedance if you're wondering about that it's a typical 10 mega ohms. The sponsor of this video is Altium Designer and if you're working on power supply design then Altium is definitely one of the most advanced PCB design softwares on the market. It has some pretty advanced features which enable collaboration among multiple team members so there is no wonder they are a popular choice in the professional PCB design world. Check out the link I've placed in the description below to sign up for a free trial of Altium. So inside the uh, carry case we get the differential probe itself, a USB cable uh, for power which in this case I noticed it is uh, branded Ugreen and that's actually a nice thing to see because Ugreen makes good quality cables. And if you've seen uh, Mixig instruments before you know they don't use any batteries they are powered via uh, this USB port and that's super useful and appreciated because this is a type of instrument that you will not be using every day. This will most likely stay stored in its carry case for months before being used again and guess what happens when you forget about those batteries? Yeah, they will leak and they will corrode the inside of your test gear. So I very much like the fact that uh, mixing instruments typically don't use batteries. So I can just plug this into the uh, USB port of my oscilloscope or any other USB port and you also get a power out option so you can use this to power uh, another instrument that is USB powered. We also get a nice set of these uh, high voltage alligator clips. By the way these look and feel really nice. A set of these uh, standard test probes with 4 millimeter inputs and a set of these uh, flexible test probes just look at how flexible and nice these are and they feel like super high quality so they these should come in handy when probing inside a uh, power supply so now you might ask yourself if you need one of these well if you're working with any voltages that might be unsafe for you to touch you absolutely need one of these and also if you'd like to prevent your oscilloscope from blowing up once again, you absolutely need one of these. If you're not familiar with how the ground clip on a typical oscilloscope probe is connected, well, this is a direct connection to the earth point on your oscilloscope through the uh, shrouded uh, BNC connector. And that is a, also a direct connection to the earth point on the mains IEC socket. And almost all of the oscilloscopes that you will encounter are using that type of connection because the scope is measuring a signal between earth or ground level and the tip of your probe. Now if you were to attach this uh, ground clip to the wrong point 
on your device under test, a point that might be floating at a few hundred volts above ground, you will create a short between that point and the earth connection through uh, this cable, through your oscilloscope, and depending on the energy that your circuit under test can unleash, it can lead to a smaller or a bigger bang, which would most certainly fry your oscilloscope as well as potentially harm you. And I'm pretty sure that's not something you'd like to experience. On the other hand, if you are using one of these differential probes, then there is no risk of that happening. And it's not because this thing is galvanically isolated in any way. Well, there is a, a point where it is galvanically isolated. That is for the USB power coming in. I'm sure there is an isolated DC to DC converter in there to isolate the USB portion from the actual uh, measurement part of the probe. But other than that, there is no actual uh, physical isolation between the input measuring high voltage and the output going to the oscilloscope is just a bunch of uh, resistors connected in series at the input to increase the input impedance up to 10 megaohms and to increase the creepage distance so there is no risk of high voltage arcing on the input and also it's safe to assume that the current allowed to flow between the input and the output of the, this uh, differential probe uh, is very limited and that makes it safe to use and safe to connect on high voltage circuits and I don't think I mentioned this so far in the video, but the build quality on the probe itself is top notch. Mixing is using high quality materials for building this probe. The cables feel nice and even the accessories included with the probe feel like really good quality, something that you would trust to use uh, on high voltage. Now here is a switch mode power supply, one that I designed myself a long time ago in Volog 72 back in 2016. This was probably the second year I had the YouTube channel, so the quality is not that great. But if you'd like to check it out, I will link it on screen. So back then I did not have a differential probe, but now I can safely probe the input of this transformer. And in fact, let me show you the uh, schematic of this power supply. This is it, I am probing on these points on winding number one right here. So with this uh, differential probe, we can take a look at the waveform on the input of that transformer on its primary winding on the oscilloscope. And here is how it looks on the oscilloscope. We're seeing these, uh, these pulses at about 300 Hertz, these very sharp pulses with a peak to peak value of 500 volts. But this is with no load connected on the output of this power supply. Now, let me enable a 10 milliamps load on the output through an electronic load. And as we can see on the oscilloscope, the waveform immediately changed. Now the power supply is switching at a higher frequency. Now we're seeing about 1.8 kilohertz of switching frequency. And let me increase the load to 100 milliamps. This is at 100 milliamps and we can see the frequency once again increased. This can be of great help when tuning various aspects of a switch mode power supply circuit, but I won't go into that because I'm not an expert on the topic. What I can say is that those working on switch mode power supplies might actually need at least two of these probes to be able to compare at least two signals at the same time. Also, I would like to quickly mention that although one of these differential probes greatly increases the safety level when working on high voltage circuits, most safety procedures will actually require the operator to use both an isolation transformer and a differential probe just to further increase the safety level and prevent any electrical shock. In terms of uh, specs of the unit and how it meets that, it does have its claimed 100 MHz bandwidth, but like I said with these test leads, you're never going to uh, probe 100 megahertz signals. I guess ultimately if one really wanted to probe high voltage 100 megahertz signals, you could open this uh, probe and uh, remove the standard test leads and solder some short test points, but you really need to know what you're doing at that level. I won't do a teardown of the unit or any performance or specs verifications just because others have done it before and the results are just as expected. The unit meets the spec. Mixing is already making a name for itself. So I'm sure they wouldn't adver advertise specs that they can't meet. Uh, actually, the unit has a very low noise floor, good linearity with no important issues observed. Even when compared to the more expensive units, it performed very similar or actually outperforming the more expensive units uh, for some types of measurements. And I will link this blog post in the description where the performance of the probe was measured by the author. In terms of cost, the Mixig is priced at around $180. 
Uh, there is also the DP1307 model, which only goes up to 700 volts. That is priced at around $170 currently on Banggood. And don't forget about the discount code that you can get from the description of the video. Uh, but if you look at the competition, same as with previous mixing equipment that we've looked at, they are pricing themselves lower than their competition. I mean, similar specs from different manufacturers start at about $400 but they can easily jump to over 1,000 for names like uh, LeCroy or Tektronix. And in the end, those well-known brands don't really have something in them to make it worth spending 5,000 as much for, for one, it's just a name tag. So because Mixig makes such good quality equipment, I really think this is the best differential probe you can get for the money. But if you disagree, please leave a comment below with a better alternative and justify your choice. That was all for today. As usual, I would really appreciate your feedback in the comments below. Maybe try hitting that like button if you haven't already, or maybe consider supporting me on Patreon with as little as $1 per month to help me keep these videos coming once per week. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you next time.